Let's say you're in this beautiful place and you keep taking selfies and loads of pictures here to post. But aren't you missing out on that stunning view? If you see pictures of your friends at a party and you think to yourself, why well, wasn't I invited? That is FOMO. FOMO or fear of missing out is a social anxiety stemmed from the belief that others might be having fun while they're not present, often triggered by the post seen on social media. It is a desire to stay continually connected with what others are doing. The paradox of FOMO is that we always miss out on something. We can only do one thing at a time and there's an infinite amount of other things we could be doing potentially. Let me give you a personal example. Last year, I injured my back and hence missed a lot of school. I was invited to birthday parties, however, I could not attend them. I missed the inside jokes and lots more and that made me feel left out. Technology is amazing. It helps us connect with people and is our window to the outside world. But at the same time, it is also the reason for FOMO and the Gen Z. Social media does not give a full and accurate picture of people's lives, being more like the trailer of all her good times. And so in many ways, the social media version is a false reality. Social media isn't evil, but relying on it for happiness is. One thing that's helpful to keep in mind is that when you see these pictures on social media, is that they're curated in order to represent a specific image. They do not tell the whole story. Your friend's social media posts are the highlight reel. You see the best women at the party, not the boring ones. After all, you probably don't post pictures of yourself looking bored or annoyed at a party either, right? So what does FOMO lead to? Studies show that FOMO leads to loneliness, extreme dissatisfaction, mood swings, and increased levels of negativity. Now, how do we overcome FOMO? Not scrolling and comparing definitely helps. Use it to plan face-to-face -face get togethers. Columbian professor John Castropo, a leading researcher, says that doing that can make your life better. If through social media, you plan a game of basketball among your friends, that is healthy. However, if you turn to social media instead of playing basketball, that is unhealthy. Practicing gratitude for what you have and what you are doing rather than what you do not have and what you aren't doing. Forget the fake perfect lives that lead to FOMO and instead try JOMO, the joy of missing out on all those illusions. When you spend time staring at all those pictures on social media, keep one thing in mind. It's your present life you're missing out on.